Hello and welcome to Mary's video channel. Uh, this one is a, an unusual video in as much as it's about a, 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 a trailer or a caravan that we lived in for the 12 years that we were travelling around Ireland and England. Uh, you can see the inside of it on the Georgie Daniels story but it's, uh, it was taken by, this, this video was taken by Channel 4 and it was titled Transports of Delight. I forget, it's in the 90s, I forget the date, but uh, we had a wonderful home. It was absolute, as everybody came taking photographs of it and they were inundated with people, but we didn't mind that. It was great and it was a lovely home to be in in the winter time because it was, it, the walls were that thick, plate glass windows and all round, and a foot insulated roof, so we had a coal fire, so we were nice and snug and warm. If you want to know more about Mary's uh, uh, web pages www.marymalone.com or email Mary at mvickers that's m v i c k e r s 44 at hotmail.co.uk Mary ring that bell oh, <laughs> the bell's bell <laughs> okay bye bye everybody the the oh yeah. and see where there's hate there's a, there's a it's like a cancer growing and it can affect other people it's an awful thing what hate is and I feel that when I'm giving healing to people, you know, I can feel the hate, the hate with them for other people. And I have to say to them, you're not going to accept this healing because the Holy Spirit is uh, he's lost, you know, he's in a fog with them. And it's only when you point it out to them that this is why, this is why your body is breaking down. Because even though that you have that hate, and it can be over land, or the most stupidest thing going, you know, that they, that they get themselves in such a state and they pass it on to other people. Plus we'll staff. have to continue this over lunch, I think. <laughs> you're right. Longing to continue right. it. Right. <laughs> are, you, are you all right for 24 hours? <laughs> <laughs> I give you an hour's sleep. <laughs> Let me see, where's the bunks, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always yeah, put them yeah. standing up inside the wardrobe. <laughs> This man is not going to get right. very far, okay. is right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mary and Malcolm, your, your mobile home, is it a caravan or is it a palace? Well, they, they call um, it a trailer, a living trailer. And uh, that's what it is. People live in them. But this one uh, was made for the Romany royalty people of England to have the meetings in twice a year. And it was never lived in. It was two years old when we bought it. 22 years ago and uh, there was no fire lit in the fire or the stove lit even so it was like brand new when we when we bought it and uh, it's been we've kept it like new ever since uh, we don't have any any children they knock trailers about we don't smoke and we don't have any pets so that's why it's, it's been kept in such good condition over the 22 years well how does it compared to other Romany trailers, I mean, it is incredibly lavish. Well, as I said, this one was made for, for the Romany royalty, if you will, family called Boswells, and uh, that's who we bought it off. Uh, lovely, lovely people, and they uh, had it handmade. It, this is uh, the Rolls-Royce of, of uh, living trailers, if you will. It was made by a guy called Harry Vickers in Morecambe, uh, who has since passed away, there's no more of these being made. And uh, everything in it is uh, like there's no, no nails in this trailer. It's all uh, hand uh, dovetail joints or screws. And it weighs nearly four tons. It's 23 foot long by seven foot six wide. And the reason it weighs four tons is because of all the stainless steel on it and the cut glass. The windows and, and the mirrors in this are all thick plate glass and they were cut, they were took over to Waterford uh, to be cut in, in Ireland by a guy called Benjamin Connolly Pritchard. He was a master craftsman uh, glass cutter. He's since retired and uh, uh, brought back and put in the trailer. The wood is bowed and beveled. Uh, that's steamed in ovens for months and then it's formicaed. Uh, so everything in the trailer, the best materials were, were, were placed in the trailer to make it, you know. We have had the trailer raised up on high, uh, larger wheels because we kept getting punches. The wheels went right for the road. 
so we had big lorry wheels put on and a, a big heavy duty axle and another reason I had it done because everywhere that we parked it up years ago people would come in and look in the windows to see what was it, it was like inside you know so your life wasn't your own really you know well we were in the trailer and I, but we haven't used this trailer we we've been traveling the world since 1983 August 1983 and we haven't used the trailer since then we've had it stored away in Ireland and we brought it over to Cornwall this last uh, six months or so and uh, our lifestyle has changed so we need the trailer now needs a new mummy and daddy really you know <laughs> so uh, that's what we're, that's what we're looking for well it's a bit like um, living in a sort of trailer version of Buckingham Palace isn't it um, it is palatial that was one word that we used to describe it there's three types of lighting in this trailer there's the, the gas light we use that when we're in a romantic mood, when we want a candlelit dinner for two. And uh, I'm only kidding. <laughs> and uh, we have the subdued lighting, which are in all the alcoves. And then we have the main lighting along the top, you know. Of course, the gas lighting is, is, is ideal for when we're pulling at a place where we don't have electricity, you know. You just use your gas. Does it have all mod cons? I mean, does it have a huge bath chamber and... Um... Uh, <laughs> no, there's no. Th th this, <laughs> this was made as a, as a meeting place for the, for the royalty, you know, and uh, there's a no, long horse pipe. Yeah, yeah. There's no toilets in these trailers. Uh, there's no place to wash in really. it. There's a fridge, which is you know a gas and electric fridge. We have a full size cooker. We have a coal fire, but uh, that's it really. There's no. There's no. You, we, so why, why is that? Trailer. I mean, wh where did they do their ablutions? And well, uh, you would have a, what they call a kitchen trailer, which is a small 16-foot, 14-foot trailer, which would have a, a cooker where you did your cooking, your peeling of the onions, the chopping of this, the cooking of that, where you uh, do your ablutions, uh, you all your washing, you do your washing of your clothes and everything, you know. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, what sort of things would they discuss when they had their big powwows in here? Well, we we, we don't mm -hmm. know. We're not Romani people. We only bought this off 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 you Romani people. Clue. You're quite psychic, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't call it psychic. I am a visionary, but it's, it's, it, then again, it's a, it's a different thing than being psychic. But you have yeah. good vibes yes. from the trailer. Yes, when I, when we've seen it first. This is why I, I like pretty things, you see. Uh, I just fell in love with it the very first time. And Malcolm said, oh, all right, then if this is what you want, we'll, we'll have it. And I play house in it. Although for years and years, uh, the, we took it around with us. And so many dinners has been made in here and so many parties has been here that it's a part of our life. You know, we're, we have it at least 20 years. And it's, um, it's just lovely. What does it I, I feel? I miss it when it's gone. What does it feel like bowling along the road with it coming, you know, being driven along behind you? <laughs> yeah, along with, behind with you. This, with you feel like the Queen Mother waving at everybody. <laughs> yeah. With this trailer, of course, weighing so much, you had to have a big vehicle. We had a yeah. seven ton <clears> truck <throat> that we used to pull this vehicle, this trailer with. And we had the seven ton truck to keep our commodities in. I mean, we travelled Ireland, England, Scotland, and Wales doing retail and wholesaling. And of course, we were on the road nearly most of the time, even though we had a house in Manchester. And uh, what happened then was uh, we did that much traveling, we decided to give the house up and just live in, in the trailer. So we needed, I, I, I said to myself, look, uh, Mary wants a nice trailer. So we waited two years for this to come on the market. And then we bought it. Well, uh, did you know it was coming on the market? Uh, we didn't really. You no, just we didn't. Not really. We were looking for the nicest thing we could find at the time. And we went to up and down England and Scotland and all over the shore looking for the right home that we could live in. Something nice. This was the nicest thing at the time. And they, as I said, they don't make them like this anymore. This is a, it's a handmade trailer. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's still the nicest thing on the road, really, you know. You won't get the car. The same quality that you would need to go into a trailer like this today, I dread to think how much it would really cost, you know. Is it unique? It is. There's only one of its kind. Uh, uh, now, there are other Romani trailers, but they've not, 
This one they is special. They haven't got the washer for cooked glass. Yeah, they, they've not got the cooked glass mm. windows like this. And we have uh, double downspouts on the outside of it. it a lot of extras uh, is on this trailer. Where it, it, they're not on the other one. And then they tend to cheat a little bit with the, the with the non-leather seats and all this carry on. You know, these are these, they, these are leather and everything. As I said, it, it is. A and as we we keep them covered so they're still like brand new. You know, everything in it was kept kept right. Tell me about the the wonderful um, um, ceramic collection. Did that come with the trailer? Because it seems to fit in beautifully. It, yeah, we, we, no, we had that years before. Some of it was left by my family, some by Murray's family. Mostly uh, Caverswell, uh, uh, Crown Derby, Minton, uh, pieces like that, you know. But it seems to fit into the Romany sensibility, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it had to fit yeah. in. The, the stuff had to fit to the caravan, you know, or the trailer. Uh, or to look, to look wrong. That's right. Yeah. You know, it had to be, it had to be pretty as well. Yeah. You couldn't have anything that would, that would look out of place. Yeah, you, you so don't I put a Volkswagen clock no. in a Rolls Royce motor car. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of yeah. it. Yeah. I'm longing to know where the bed yeah. is. <laughs> that is what we're sitting on at the moment. <laughs> this pulls And it's out. a very comfortable one, I can and tell this, you. <laughs> and this goes down. This is yeah. one bed. And these wardrobe doors open, and then there's two more doors recessed inside of those. They open, and that cuts this out, this half of the trailer off completely. On the other side, so you have a again, private you bedroom. Close the door again, and this is a double bed on the other side of the camera. There, you know. So four people can, or, or two people and two kids, whichever way they want. You know, a family could live in it. It's palatial. very easily. It is, but <laughs> it, it it really it's a showpiece. It could it, it, somebody I don't know. Uh, who would buy this uh, other than somebody maybe it would be okay for a caravan uh, for firm a, to advertise you know this is a, to, as a drawing piece for the for the caravan business you know maybe it would be good for sister when sister wendy beckett you know the um art critic. Right, she right. lives in a caravan <laughs> does she really <laughs> <laughs> tell her there's a lovely one here <laughs> yeah swap a two paintings for yeah. It. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, can you intimate how much you're asking for it well, you know, just something in his mind. Yeah, any reasonable offer that comes along, we're within the bounds of reason. I mean, either with the China or without the China. We, as I said, we're travelling the world all the time now. When we we go out in on the uh, 27th of April to South Africa, and then to Australia, and then to and we stay months and weeks at a time in these countries with Murray's work, you see, and uh, then we go to uh, New Zealand, Fiji. We're, we're three months in Hawaii, and then we're on to San Diego, California. So we're never actually at home to in the trailer, you know. Is that fine? Thank you. That was great. Make your eye line of these sort of between the two of them. Tell you what, Mike. Is that okay now? Thanks for telling. Questions as well. So you, once you've got a bit of listening, you can drift across. Mary and help me everyone. out, because I could get lost on the grass. Uh, is there so anything? Can you, yeah, could you pick up on, um, maybe ask, ask Mary again just what her first reaction was or why, why, she, why this van was special to her when she chose it and how she feels about it. And you could drift across then, Mike, if you wanted to, to Mary. Yep, sure. Mm. Okay. Don't laugh, whatever you do. So, so again, ask questions? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mary, where did you first clap eyes on this trailer? 1980, 1970, wait a minute. 1975. So we'll do that again, yeah. it's not really... Yeah, no, it's where and how it affected you. Right. Where it's was it? Really where, it's, it's just... just what, what yeah, sort of leading, Carlisle, leading up yeah. to how she was in Carlisle. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> what was your first trailer? Oh, I fell in love with it the very first time I seen it. I just didn't want him to leave until we had bought it there and then. A part, it, it seemed to be, it was a part of us that was standing there waiting for us to pick it up. And that was in 1975. Long time. And of course now it, it has grown into us in, in some way that even though we are going to let it go, and I hope it'll go to somebody that'll appreciate it, you know. If they have as much luck in it as we have, 
you know, and I wish them that luck, whoever will get it. It's definitely... Oh, it is, really. And the fun that has been in this trailer. The parties and the dinner in this trailer was something else. Uh, it was just... a house in it. Like my doll's house. Large one. <laughs> It's great. Look at you. Look at Sarah Jane. So it's, it's Mary talking and more. Can you come smile? <laughs> yep. Yeah. What's the largest for dinner? That's in here, but we have a very large table. People in. And you have <laughs> Island. This guy came to Mary and I. Mary, Mary, he said, I've got an unusual. Uh, uh, all yesterday I was singing a Tom Jones song, Why, Why, Why Delilah. Tom Jones songs, Why, Why, Why. Last night, uh, the Green Green. Said to the yes, Mary. She said, "Well, it's not unusual." That's great. There you Maybe are. We just a little sort of. Okay. That's great. No, it's very good. Think about okay. leaving the trailer. Yeah. Oh, no I more cry. Tom, no more Tom Jones. Okay. As you said, if you ask Malcolm another question. You want to be looking, look at Sarah Jane as well right. as well from time to time. Right. Now's your golden opportunity, Sarah Jane. Find your way. <laughs> this is, I'm going to say something rather pretentious, but it strikes me that the interior is very sort of French or made, isn't it? Whereas the outside is streamlined, isn't it, the trailer? People come in, it doesn't look anything like the outside, really, you know. But, I mean, we haven't put a coat of paint on this trailer at all in, in 20 years, you know. All we've done is just wash it occasionally, you know. So the paint is oxid the metal is oxidizing through the lemon paint now. But there's know. a lot of my sweat in this, I'll tell you, for <laughs> scrubbing it and keeping it keeping it That's how I keep thin, you say I have a race around this place. <laughs> to keep it right. Would you call this a caravan or a palace? I call it my passion wagon, and it has been my passion wagon for 20 years. <laughs> That's lovely. And then, um, Sandra, you actually asked, how does it compare with other Romney trailers? And Malcolm, if you come so back that. with the cut glass, if you could start, perhaps start talking about the cut glass and, and the various features in, in the wagon, that would really help us out. Yeah. Then do you want me to go through? Yes, please, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to actually to, that's it, just, just tell us, it's a lovely show, everybody. Uh, Howling, Ruddy, and all those under. Okay. How does it compare to other Romney trailers? Well, uh, other, other Romney trailers uh, don't have uh, got glass windows. Uh, some do, but most don't. And these, uh, this is why the trailer is so heavy. The way it's nearly four done is because of the windows that are, uh, have to be plate glass and the mirrors inside. There's all mirrors all over the place. And they were took over to, to Waterford in Ireland to have them cut. And a master craftsman cut them called Benjamin Connolly Pritchard. He was the guy that did the, the windows and the mirrors. And uh, the special, you know. I always dreaded about breaking one, you know what I mean? Or, or somebody breaking one. But uh, thank God we've had it 20, 20 odd years where there's not been anything like that done. Breakages, we're lucky. We've nursed it, we've nursed this trailer, we've looked after it. Having no. We don't have any children. So there's been. Uh, that's how we've kept the trailer in such a good good. Just bring it back just a little, just want you. A little bit of that marker just for me, because I've just got... Okay. In fact, go through the answer again if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, okay. 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 Okay.
the windows between Romani caravans. Most Romani caravans don't have uh, cut glass windows like and and mirrors uh, in Ireland. They were cut and uh, they were shipped over, shipped back again, and the trailer, the windows and the mirrors. Are. So we brought the love there. Share that love, you know, with other people. It's nice. Time and they will remember that if anybody's ever watching and say, "Gosh, I have many tea in here." And that's how you share the love. And the love of God, whatever as well. Really. Even now for to go to Ireland we take it out and I play <laughs> Great. Is this what you call the Rumini version of fucking the palace? I said that once more, you were good. I just want to be a more room to lean forward and enjoy the question. That's it. It's lovely. Okay. Is this what you call the Rumini version of fucking the palace? I'm giving another note, it's just an automation from you. It's a bit like living in a Rumini version of fucking the palace. I suppose it's a bit like living in a. Oh, Rumini, sorry. I suppose it's a bit like living in a Rumini version of fucking the palace. What does it feel like living on the road telling us behind you? That was to Mary, Mary Austin Clark. What does it feel like? Along the road, you. And then to both of them, really, um, maybe it would be good for. Maybe it would be ideal for Sister Wendy Beckett, the nun who's all. Man. Laugh starting at the beginning as well. That was very nice. It should be bought. It's exactly that question again. Maybe, maybe it would be perfect for, with with the laugh coming in right. <laughs> well, Sorry, it's a humorous. You thought of something that's made you. Like laughing the voice, as opposed to hysterics at the beginning. Well, maybe it would be perfect for Sister Wendy Beckett, the art critic who lives in the caravan. That's nice. Go on, yeah. Go on, yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to go through this rather than, you know, so yeah. we see that you're offering to both of them. It's lovely. Thank you. Well, maybe it would be perfect for Sister Wendy Beckett, the nun who's an art critic, and she lives in the caravan. That's nice. Well, I'm close to that. Oh, a bit too much wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing anything! <laughs> it's, it's a microphone, so sensitive. Tell me a joke so I can start off laughing. Say something. <laughs> oh, just, just, just laugh. Yeah. That'll get me going again. <laughs> Shall I just go? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it would be perfect for Sister Wendy Beckett, the art critic who lives in a caravan. That's nice. And then I don't know if you can change. Oh, I had a terrible noise with that. More rustle again. Yeah. Um, what was how the first? The shot? What was the first? Camera's running, really. Maybe it would be perfect for Sister Wendy Beckett, the uh, nun who's an art critic, because she lives in a caravan. Very nice. And then the last one is Mary. What was your first reaction to the trailer? Mary, what was your first reaction to the trailer? I think you want a couple of listeners. A couple to of listeners. The right place, aren't they? Uh, yeah, you're okay. That Mary's about there, okay, as you are now, so we'll and then just look at the foot. Make it nice, so, that's it, nice and crisp so we can see that you're listening to both, that's lovely. And um, we're running. That's it, and just listen to Malcolm, because he did answer quite, uh, that's nice. Mary's just. 
And then we're talking colour. You just lean back just a little bit. That's lovely. Oh, come forward just a bit. Whoop. Oh, excellent. Just go lean back a bit more. That's it. That's just lean forward a fraction. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh, that's it. Sorry, be a little. Okay, that's it. It's just nods again. That's all. Between the two as well with your eye line, just slightly out of focus as if we're listening to the answer about the cut glass. Just look to your left as well as if you just picked up a bit of cut glass. Can you just turn your head as opposed to moving it? Just, back to Can you just, look, just look to your left slightly. Fine, you. just take you back just a little bit. Whoop, yeah, a bit more, a bit more. Whoop. Right. It's quite nice. But do you always look at the cut glass again? Yeah, but it lit, but if you, if you, I know it seems very strange, but just do that. Well, there is something yeah, here. Yeah, there is something here. Yeah. Okay, so again, you're looking at Malcolm. Back at Malcolm. Maybe just one more. Just one more for me. That was really as nice. You look, I, I like perhaps it. as you look, a little bit of a nod because you said something. You know, yes, you look across. Yep, you've seen it. You glance at it, and then you come back, still thinking, "Yep, I see what you mean." It's you know, it's lovely. Can I give you another starting position? Just lean back, just a fraction. Just whoop, whoop, come forward, whoop, back, whoop. Lovely, perfect, ready and happy. Fine tuning, right? Should I do my glance? So a bit of a nod, look across to the glass, still nod a little bit as you turn back. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, good. Bus track interior caravan.
Take two on the work, please. Yeah, if he continues, because I've got him at the moment, if he's just, there's a guy out there who's just stopped yeah. walking, he's stopped walking in the middle of the frame. Yeah, do you want him to walk on? As long as he walks on, that's fine. Thanks yeah. very much. Definitely take two on the on the wide and slightly tighter. That's nice speed. Lovely. What I did there was, um, okay, here we go. It's just another glass shot, but uh, they are quite fun. Okay, lovely. Thanks. I think we just thought.
Brilliant. Nice. Brilliant. A bit of that. Voice track, interior caravan. Okay. Okay. Where is that, Amanda? Off you go. This is obviously the prime cabinet in the room. Does it contain your most pre precious possessions? Well, so yes. Like Would you like me to open that for? As as you were um. Yeah. As as Sarah Jane starts speaking, yeah. sorry Mary, I should have maybe Go on. made this clear. You want to start to be opening the cabinet yes. as she's asking you that question. Oh so right. That was, that's my fault entirely then. Okay. Camera's running. Off you go. This is obviously the prime cabinet of the room. Does it contain your yes, most precious is. possessions? Yes, we have. Uh, though that's my little shrine that I I have all around the world really that I take with me. And here is, of course, uh, the bleak from Northern Ireland, the bleak factory we got it from. Bleak? Um, bleak. B-L-W-E-K-E. And what? Bleak. Sorry, I have to stop you. I've got a sign problem. I'm sorry. Have you have a sign problem. We weren't, we weren't so oh. lovely. Where's have... oh, yes, Linda? Okay, Sergeant. This is obviously the prime cabinet of the room. Does it hold your most pre precious possessions? It does. For here in the middle, is uh, those statues that I have here came from Medjugorje in Yugoslavia where our Blessed Mother is appearing. So those are um, very special to me in the line of taking them around the world with me. I don't leave those after me. Um, and what about who, who's the... Um... This is Padro Pio. That's who gave me my healing hands many years ago. Uh, he was a priest over in Italy that has now passed away 25 or 26 years ago. And um, he had got the stigmata in his hands uh, and his feet for nearly 50 years, I guess. And how did he convey his... He, well, he came through to me in a dream. And uh, he said that I, I went out in the world with, uh, uh, with the rosary 12, nearly 13 years ago now, with no intention in the world of doing healing. And two, two years after that, he came to me in a, in a dream. Now, I had, I had prayed to him for years and years and years. And uh, he said I had to combine my healing, uh, my healing with the rosary, or vice versa, whichever. And this is how I, my flesh started to, to burn. That was, how, that was the, the sign that I got. And as you can see, my, you see my, my pads in my hands. That's, the, that's where the light comes from. That's where the heat comes from. And that there's another hand there. Often I feel that there's another hand taking over. I'm only an instrument for healing in the first place, um, as most healers are. And, um, and I'll leave it, of course, to God. But my religious stuff is, is, the, is the precious stuff. There's, no, there's not a third of, the, of what I have, of course, in there, because there's only so much that 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 will carry. Yes. Well, you, you were talking <coughs> about heat. I don't want to sound flippant, but why yeah. have you got a toaster in the middle, a toast rack I in know, the middle? I know, I know. I love my toast in the morning, so that reminds me, don't forget your toast in the morning. <laughs> this is um, this is quite old. This is in the 18th century, and it's a, a piece of Crown Derby as well. It's silver, and uh, I would say it was in the mouth, uh, I would say about 1855, 1858. Am I right in recognising this is? And this is crown the derby. old Crown Derby. This is uh, 1835 and 1885. Uh, very old, 
beautiful, that's a beautiful piece of Crown Derby. There are, this is a set, there's just two here, that is not a, not a set, just odd, but they're, they're lovely. Do you ever use this in your dinner parties? No, not these, no. They're very fragile, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, what about the top deck up there? And this came from Ireland. Um, this is uh, this is not old, as old, you know, as they say old. Um, that's bleak, and it came from a factory called Bleak in Northern Ireland. And it's got is it? Clovers? And we have it about twenty years. Clovers. It's shamrock. Shamrock. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <Of course> Irish. <laughs> this is shamrock. Yeah, and it's uh, as you see, it's it's very it's again very fragile. You can even see it through it. Yes, so you you really don't don't use them as such, you know. But you can you can you can you can drink out of them, of course. Um, and that's that's the cabinet. Well, okay. I think after I all this, I, I will stop you there just to do a pick yeah. up. I won't go to the bed. I'll okay. do that separately. Could you, um, yeah, if you came round, Mike, maybe to find to find Sarah Jane, possibly. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite likely to say, well, obviously you can't travel with all this. In situ, yeah. with this idea, you know, oh, you when you're looking, looking at the case or looking at, yeah. at Mary. Oh. That's fine. All yours, Linda. Okay, so Jim. All this crockery would be a bit of a liability on the open road. It would all sort of <laughs> smash and bash. Do you right. wrap it all up? Yes. So many people think that uh, I'd leave them all up like that. And of course, it's impossible to even move uh, an inch without they all tippling over. So I, I pack every one of them individually. And they're in um, either in towels or heavy packing. And I pack them into where they belong. So that when I do arrive, or when I did arrive there, that uh, all I had to do was take them, unwrap them, and put them back again. And it didn't take so long, even though there's a lot of pottery in here. But I never broke a thing in that time that we travelled. Twinkle so well, fingers. Yeah, well, I suppose you get used to how to pack, you know. And so know. when you've got it all out yeah. and it's full glory, do you find lots of people oh, yes, attracted yes. by the glitter? Because it's, yeah, it's like. Um, it's like they want to come into the pictures and have a peep, you know. They just want to see what you live in and how you're living in it. And uh, how you can keep it so nice, that's the thing. That's that's a part of it, you know. That's a part of the enjoyment that I get, you know, when I'm um, playing house, as they say. But I also played the housewife in here when we did travel with, uh, with our business, that uh, I was able to cook and have people in you know as well it had to be home even though it was on wheels uh, i had to make it like that that people was uh, they enjoyed coming in that they didn't feel that they had to tiptoe through the uh, the floor you know that they should feel comfortable with me and with my husband of course uh, when we were having parties it was just nice that's very nice to stop with that We'll just do some cutaways of the objects in the cabinet, but that was really nice. Thanks. Okay. <coughs> um, which one was it first? It was all um, Still. Okay, Linda. Okay, Mary, off you go.
Can you just put it down again for me, Mary? Just it's just for the camera. This yeah. really is, if you can just sort of pick it up and bring it. Bring it away. Yes. Yeah. Bring it, no. Okay. Right. And then, if you'd like to just pop it back in, you can. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Did you look at? Did they look at the base? I was going to say, if you could do one more, and when you put it back, almost as if you've been handling it, you, right. you probably were holding. And I'll just settle my hand so there's no movement. There's Linda. Okay, Mary. And down again. There's certainly something there with the yeah, wide and the other nice. one. That's yeah. good. Oh, yeah. good. I'm just about to run up. See of detail on that on the FA cut there. Good job, here. thank you. Teacup. I don't know um, whether that should leave. We've probably done that once, so I need to keep that in the wide. Which teacup did you pick up? Did you pick a teacup? Yeah, yeah small teacup, did I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which one was it, Mary Jane? You picked yeah. up the right hand. Is so it that one I picked up? No, no that's up at the top. Oh, up at the top, yeah, yeah, I picked up that one. That one. Yeah. Okay, well, Do you want me to pick it up? If you can just take your hand away just for a second. Right. Thank you. Sort of weird echo. Yeah, yeah. nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, Mary. Pick it up. <laughs> it's really strange. That's the logo. Just, you, I'll tell you what. We didn't really, I don't think we really saw that. So that's fine. It's, it's, no, it's we just saw the yeah, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Mm. It's beautiful. I lo but I yeah. love the way the um, shamrocks come yes. off the yes. handle. Yeah, that's Can right. Can you just, just put it back for me and I'll just position well, myself. Well, you haven't got your camera mic, have you? Sure, yeah. There is a very strange... Okay. Yeah. That's feeding back through. Mm. Mm. Mary, if you just that once more, I will stop. You just smile. <laughs> we'll run up again. And uh, yeah. you'll find that Maria as long as you don't mm -hmm. just pop your head back in to find out what's going on. Okay, looking at Mary. Looks again. Tell me, why have you got a toast rack in the middle shelf? Cut there, we've got yeah. echo. Dun, 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 dun. 
So I got it there, but I left it in. That's quite nice. He says. Yeah. I think that's that's it there. Right, we'll <laughs> right, ready to see. Okay, so then. Don't forget the nose there. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, why have you got a toast rack in the middle shelf? Mm -hmm. It echoed again, didn't it? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well, it's quite a heavy work, isn't it? <coughs> Go away. It's still there, isn't it? Um, here I am speaking. It's still, it's still there. Oh, how did I get so hard? Just speak again. Hello, here I am speaking again. It? It's done, right? Sorry, <laughs> he's just shoving this at you. One or two on the alarms went right, straight down there. Okay. Okay. Does okay. so it return? Sure. Yeah. I think. It's all right now. Is it okay? Speak to Hello, I'm still speaking to you. Yeah. That's clear. It's clear. Yeah. Hooray. Yeah. Could you, um... Yeah, I was just waiting for the footsteps. Oh, here's Linda. OK, so then. Tell me why you've got a toast rack in the middle shelf. Could you give me another one? So, so why have you got the toast rack? Why have you got a toast rack in the middle shelf? And a bit of looking... As if she's showing you something in her hand. And then she's putting it back, the toast rack goes back in the middle shelf, and then down to the Crown Derby. And then up, as she's just mentioned the leak, leak in pottery. She's just lifting something down, looking at that, looking back at her. A few more nibs. Fine. I'm just putting some right, in here. Yeah. Yeah. I am running in.
just take it. That's fine. So just, just your foot, just back a little bit. Start with. Once we go, please come in and whatever. Just want a clean frame to start with. Sorry, Jane. You could, you could wrap the whole thing up here if you wanted. Send a comment back to you're going to miss all this or something like. I'll leave it to your discretion. Wherever you hear the, the point to jump in, would be quite nice. Okay. Okay. So we yours. Okay, How many gypsies can you sleep bed in this place? <laughs> sorry, I'll do that. I'll, I'll Forget the gypsies, yeah. 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 I can say how many can you sleep? Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. count that like cackle. <laughs> Okay, ready. Okay. How many can you sleep here in the trailer? This trailer sleeps four people, two double beds. This is one of them. Ooh. It pulls out, and this over to my right is another one that pulls out as well. Well, how many seconds does it take for you to transform this bench into a bed? Move over there and start counting. Move over, darling. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Transformation. Yeah. Well done. Well, should we um, <laughs> take up our Don't positions? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. Uh, well, so what fantastic. I mean, yeah. you're obviously going to miss all this when you leave, aren't yeah. you? And this was made for the people that had this made. This is exactly six foot two. The, uh, uh, the, I know that because I'm six foot and have an inch at either end to manoeuvre about in, you know. So it's just right. Same with the other one. The other one's six foot two as well. When it's just you and Mary, do you sort of alternate the beds, like travels with my aunt, where they kept changing? Uh, Mary usually likes to sleep near the fire on this side, and I sleep near the window. Uh, that's how we we normally work, you know. Are you going to miss this arrangement? Well, yeah. We we we've not used this for for 14 years now. This trailer, but sure, uh, Mary likes it, and we we will miss it, you know. It was a bit sort of garbled. Yeah, we were a bit sort of. I'm, sorry. I was just wondering. Where's Linda? How many can you sleep here? This trailer sleeps four people comfortably. Two here and two over on my right. Two here. where? <laughs> two here. Come yeah. on, show me how it happens. Well, move Unless over. Unless you a little all bit. sleep on top of each other. <laughs> Move over a little Can bit I and I'll show you. Yeah, I'm just not there. It was just perfect for me, but as soon as you say, show me how it happens, go for go it. Go for it, yeah. 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 Show me how it happens. <laughs> Practice me, perfect. Where is Linda? Okay. How many can you sleep here? This trailer sleeps four people. Two here and two over on my right. Well, let's see how you do it. I'll take the okay. cushion. Okay. Off we just go. Just move over there Oops, and start yes, counting. <laughs> Ah, the experienced hand transformation. That's it. So, who goes where? I mean, you can actually get more than two people in there, can't you? <laughs> We've never tried that. <laughs> but I sleep near the window. Murray likes to sleep near the fire. Ah, uh, right. And do you, ever, do you ever sort of try out the other one as well? Yes, we pull the other one out occasionally when we did use the trailer, you know. So you're going to miss this, aren't you? Because it's such a romantic setting, isn't it? Yeah, we miss it, but, uh, you know, we've moved on to other things and it's time for this to move on to other things as well, you know. Well, may the new owners come forward. Yeah, thanks. Lovely. Lovely. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy about it. I don't think there's a cutaway there at all. No, it's, it flows. Nice, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Can I say it's a...
downward to so that you know it's sort of directional. Yeah. Yeah, the are all nice and still. Camera's running and ready with the wheels. Still keep her feet still. So. Just give it five and then I'm ready. So that's um desirable Romany trailer in immaculate condition. I'll stop you actually a little bit faster because you're you're not thinking it, you're right. You want me to look at the camera a bit? Can do, keep looking yeah. Up. yeah. When you say two careful owners, you could look because we can see them. <laughs> does that work if she looks in that direction? I th yeah, yeah, it does. We'll have Excellent. a look. I mean, it's good. Hey! <laughs> it was like, okay. it was you. <laughs> Marvellous, yeah. But it needs to be a little bit quicker because you've already written it. So okay. you're just trying to find it, finish, finish it off. There's no, there's no loser. Hmm. Then you could end on you still pondering. You've got just a bit of um, something on your leg there, just on the right, the white. Oh yeah, so I know. <laughs> okay. Can you, I just thought, can you see the radio mic? Can you pull out a shot? Do you want me to use it? Uh, if you're not using it, yeah, let's move it. Okay. Has it been on? Change, just as well. Okay. Okay. So that's desirable Romany trailer in immaculate condition. Two careful owners, complete with original features. No bathroom. That could be a bit of a problem. Carpets and curtains negotiable. Tick. Would suit itinerant rock star, evangelist, gypsy king or queen, or anyone who loves the great outdoors. Lovely. I'll do one more where you actually towards the end is if you're carrying on writing so you're not looking at camera right at the end and you could and you could you know or anyone who loves the oh, I, sh I shall start writing that yeah, shall I especially, especially if it doesn't have a bathroom kind of like you know almost to yourself just as you're smirking at the clipboard sort of thing it would be quite nice okay so that's 
desirable Romany trailer in immaculate condition, two careful owners, complete with original features, no bathroom, that could be a bit of a problem, carpets and curtains negotiable, wood suit itinerant rock star, evangelist, gypsy king or queen, or anyone who loves the great outdoors and doesn't like taking too many baths. Just one more if you can. One more, slightly more, kind of, slightly speedier, where you just kind of literally just start writing at the end, really writing, just and going into your own thoughts almost. All right, so I'll start writing yeah. anyone who loves the great outdoors. Yeah, and you kind of, you could roll those suitable, su could, you know, suitable for, that you could get in sleeps for, and there's some there. You could add that, that could be the thing you add at the end. Okay. So that's desirable Romany trailer in immaculate condition, two careful owners, complete with original features, no bathroom, which could be a bit of a problem, um, carpets and curtains negotiable, wood suit itinerant rock star, evangelist, gypsy king or queen, or anyone who loves the great outdoors, sleeps for. Yeah, we need it okay. again. We need that, it again. That was really nice to do. No, I'm sorry, I've just, I've just picked you up. Can I just bring you? When you, you when you go to or anyone who loves the great outdoors, you that's could fine. be writing please, that. Please, so yeah. you could be looking Enjoy down there, at that point. That yeah. was a really nice delivery. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's exactly the right speed. Is that okay with that Yeah. But thanks for bringing it up. Just once more. He's got a still a bit more movement going on there. Yeah. Right, shall I just go? Yeah. I've got this card up now. Right. Straight, just keep looking straight at Sarah Jane, it's lovely. And this truck. So, that's desirable Romany trailer in immaculate condition. Two careful owners, complete with original features, no bathroom, could be a bit of a problem, carpets and curtains negotiable, wood suit itinerant rock star, evangelist, gypsy king or queen, or anyone who loves the great outdoors. Mm, um, I could do with you just saying that at the right speed and just just looking down, carrying on writing, sort of muttering under your breath, sleeps for just as if you're just you know totally then not aware of the camera. But that was perfect up till then. All right. So, so just carry on. Loves the great outdoors, sleeps for. So you're just writing. All right. Okay. So don't worry about kind of spelling <coughs> that one out of the words. Okay. <coughs> okay. Five. So that's. Desirable Romany trailer in immaculate condition, two careful owners, complete with original features, no bathroom, bit of a problem, <clears throat> carpets and curtains negotiable, wood suit itinerant rock star, evangelist, gypsy king or queen, or anyone who loves the great outdoors, sleeps for many mirrors. Um, not suitable for pet owners or baby lovers. No. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I've travelled the length and breadth of the country in search of people's collections, but this is the first time that a collection has actually come to me. Quick, quick, before I get, before I stop again. In the past few weeks, I've travelled the length and breadth of the country in search of people's collections. But this is the first time that a collection has actually come to me, complete with its own amazing showcase. Hello, is there anyone in? Hello. <laughs> well, let's hope that's it. One more. You can stop a bit earlier if you want to, because we're on quite a wide frame, because you were lingering a bit close to the third. Yeah, OK. Any other Ready? Chance? In the last few weeks, I've travelled the length and breadth of the country in search of people's collections. But this is the first time a collection has come to me, complete with its own amazing showcase. Hello? Is there anyone there? Hi. Hello to the picture. It's got, okay. <laughs> got this thing down here. <laughs> I'm going to see that, that, that dress in my dream. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Is that? Should be walking in again. Okay. It's sound only, just for. All right, and they just say hi. How did you? Yeah. Okay, you've got to say hello this time. No, no, don't get up. Just stay there. It's just that th it's the end of me coming in. So you just say whatever you'd normally say if you were first meeting me. So uh, do you want me to come out, then yeah, back in again? Hello, is there anyone there? Hello, come in, love. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> it's nice and warm in here. <laughs> you must be thinking freezing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>